So we're going to continue talking about complex zeros, more complex zeros. And really our goal here is just to try and find all the zeros of a polynomial. Okay? That's what we're trying to do here. Whether they're uh, imaginary, whether they're real, whether we graph them or factor or whatever, we're trying to find them. Um, so we're going to start with uh, already given. We're just going to do like just quick examples. Okay? And then um, I'll cut you loose and you can work on your homework. All right, so I think I have like three problems and that's about it. I taught most of it yesterday. It was a lot. Okay, number one. Um, it says here that given uh, that x equals 2 thirds is a 0 of f of x equals 3x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 6x cubed minus 4, oopsie, minus 4x squared, it keeps going, minus 24x plus 16. Okay? We're told that x equals 2 thirds is a zero of that function. Just knowing that, without using your calculator, you need to find the rest of them. Okay? Find all the zeros. Now, we had one kind of like this on that last quiz, but it was easier because we weren't doing complex numbers yet. We were told two factors, x minus 2 and x plus 2. And what you do is you take your zeros and you do synthetic division with them. And that's what we're going to do. I know it's a fraction, but we're going to be okay because it's actually going to turn out really nice. So let's take our zero, which is 2 thirds, and we're going to do synthetic division here. So we've got 3, negative 2, 6, negative 4, negative 24, 16. All right, and if you need to use your calculator, that's all right. These are fractions. So here we go. We're going to bring down the 3. 2 thirds of 3 is 2. Oh, that's nice. I like to see that zero there. Zero times two-thirds is zero. Add it up, six. Two-thirds of six? Four. Zero again. Zero times two-thirds is zero. Negative 24. What's the last one have to be? What kind of 16? Yep, negative 16. All right, we get a remainder of zero. Nice. Okay, so what we end up with is 3x to the fourth plus 6x squared minus 24. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to factor that. So let's first factor out the GCF. Does it have a GCF? Yeah, 3. Factor 3 out to the front, and then you're left with x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus 8, okay? And let's go ahead and factor it some more. So I have x squared and x squared. And what times what's negative 8 adds up to positive 2? Good, positive 4, negative 2. Let's set that equal to 0 and solve since we're trying to find the zeros. So x squared plus 4 equals 0 or x squared minus 2 equals 0. Subtract 4. x squared is negative 4. Take the plus and minus square root, and x would equal plus or minus 2i. Over here, add 2. Take the plus or minus square root, and you get rad 2. All right, so let's go back to the top done all we can. It says, given that 2 thirds is a 0, find all the zeros. And so you would list them. Here are the zeros. Plus or minus 2i, plus or minus rad 2, and 2 thirds. And there they are. And I found five of them, which there are five zeros. So I'm like, cool, I found five. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the extra step here is they might ask you to now write them all as linear factors. Okay. 
So we're going to rewrite our polynomial as linear factors. And what we would do is we would do x minus 2i, x plus 2i, times x minus rad 2, x plus rad 2. And then this part's a little tricky because it's really not x minus 2 thirds. It's really what? Yeah, it's really 3x minus 2. Okay? Because if you do 3x minus 2 equals 0, you will get 2 thirds as your 0. And so you have to write it like that, not in fractions. Because if you look at the polynomial, do you see what the leading coefficient is? It's 3. And it comes from right there, from the 3 right there. Yeah. Some people like to think of it as if you do x minus 2 thirds, and then you multiply just that factor by 3, you'll get 3x minus 2. So that's what it is. Okay. That's a good one. So that wasn't anything new. That was just kind of warming you up making sure you know how to, how to do some of those. All right, now the next one we're gonna do, hmm. we did that one yesterday. Okay, number two. Uh, let's say that f of x is equal to um, x plus one times x minus three i times x plus 3i. And they want us to take that and find a polynomial in standard form, okay? So we want to write this in standard form. <coughs> write this polynomial in standard form, okay? So we're gonna have to foil this whole thing out. Now, my suggestion to you is not just to go in order. Like, I don't wanna multiply these two together right here. That would be terrible, okay? What you wanna do is you want to start by multiplying these two together, the complex ones, all right? So let's go ahead and FOIL those out. Leave the x plus 1 alone. We'll keep that out there, and we'll FOIL these two. x times x is x squared. Outside gives me 3xi. Inside gives me negative 3xi. And then my last term gives me negative 9i squared. All right, so I still have this x plus 1. Here, those i's are going to cancel out. And what is negative 9i squared? It's 9. Mm -hmm. So we get x squared plus 9. All right, so all those i's are gone. That's awesome. Now, go ahead and take that and FOIL that out. So I get x times x squared is x cubed. x times 9 is 9x. This one is x squared and then plus 9. And they want it in standard form, so make sure that you rearrange everything. So we get our function is x cubed plus x squared plus 9x plus 9. Okay? And that's going the opposite way. Instead of finding the zeros, here are the factors with the zeros in them and FOIL it out and do it that way. All right, I think I've done it all. I think I've taught you everything you need to know for two five. 